Hello. So after a short two week break uh, from making videos because I broke my finger I'm, uh, and I got a new camera. So this video I'm testing the new camera. And in this video uh, we're going to make a tool um, which is for me um, an everyday carry pick set. So it's not exactly what you think because uh, where I live it is uh, semi illegal to carry lock picks because they are considered a burglary device and basically the police can arrest you just for holding a burglary device and technically they have to prove that you did something illegal but actually you probably don't want to mess with the police thinking you did something illegal. So today every everyday carry set is going to be made out of uh, this hair clip and we have some uh, restrictions and some um, let's say points which will make our task a little bit easier. So the restriction is that uh, our tool must be uh, this made of this one paper clip and it still must uh, be functional, uh, not paper clip, sorry, hair clip and it still must be functional as a hair clip so that if someone asks what the hell is this thing you can just go and say no this is just a hair clip uh, look I can use it as a hair clip it's not a lockpick or anything so this is the restrictions we're going to have and of course we must be able to use it without any additional tools but the easier point is that 99% of the locks where I live which will be able to be picked by this tool have this Y1 keyway or uh, this smaller format Y1 keyway. So basically we're making a, a lock pick for this particular type of locks which is uh, in my country is 99% of all locks which are not uh, used on front doors because on front doors 99% of the locks are multi-locks so let's get started with our plan so the plan is to use uh, the, we have uh, two parts and the bent part and the, the straight part and sometimes the bent part is wavy in this case it's not but it doesn't really matter uh, what we're going to do is bend this part into a snail like uh, shape and we will be able to use it uh, to to make this side into a tension tool so when you want to use the, the hair clip you will break it in half one half will become a tension tool and the other half will become uh, the lock pick itself uh, so the second part we will uh, remove this uh, fat bit that they stuck on here and bend uh, the tip a little bit to make uh, a, a very shallow hook hopefully which will be enough to pick uh, these two locks and as you know I'm not that great at lock picking so I'll hope I'll manage at least to pick this 4 pin lock of uh, Rav Boriach so let's begin Okay, let's start by bending the end here.
Now let's flatten him. Okay, so this is what we have now, but this is too fat to go. I don't know if you can see, it's too fat to go into the lock. So, next, what we're going to do is to uh, trim it down a little so that it can be used as a tension tool ok let's do it next so it's dremel time Just a little. Okay, I think this is enough. Now we can um, go over to shaping the tip. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I think this is enough. Now we can test it. So let's try this lock I took from my mailbox, but it can be any draw lock. So, oh no, zombies are coming and my gun is locked by in a drawer by this lock. And all I have is uh, this tool. Okay, step one. We break the tool in half. And not drop the camera. Okay, so I broke the tool in half. Now, I'll create a bend in the tension tool. Okay, so this is my tension tool and I'm trying to do it through the, the camera. Okay, so what I learned about this is first of all I need some practice and second of all you can't clamp uh, this part of the lock because it won't turn so now I have it clamped with only uh, the cog that fastens to the uh, frame so the lock is free to spin so uh, you have to believe me I didn't make any changes to the tool Okay, so this is him. Let's try him. Yeah, can't close it with the shaker. Okay, so I won't push my luck with him. I don't know if it's going to work. It's really hard to control the tension with the tiny tensioning tool. But I'm sure those of you who actually do pick locks more professionally than I am will be able to create and use this tool to uh, pick some easy locks. Probably not hard locks because uh, the feedback is really really bad but for easy lock I think uh, this tool can work. 